Today I'm going to show you how to safely revitize your CAD details, whether they're line-based or smart details, and avoid introducing unnecessary items to your life project. Hi everyone, Alberto here with BIM Lounge. Make sure you don't miss any of our weekly BIM productivity videos. Now, as you know, one of the quickest ways to revitize a CAD detail is to import it and explode it, but that may create some issues in your live file. Now, let me share my process. Now, I wanted to share my process in um, revitizing CAD details. Now, of course, you start from a CAD detail, and uh, what you want to do is, of course, use a, an empty inner file that allows you to bring in all the imports and explode the files safely without affecting your current project. And at that point, you can decide, once the detail is clean, whether you want to uh, send it to your current live project or you can also send it to your library. But most times when you send it to your live project, uh, you still want to tweak it and make sure it gets approved. So it's uh, probably more likely that at the end of the project, when uh, all the details have been approved, you can actually send that detail to the standard library. Now, the first thing you want to do is uh, set up your uh, new Revit file and the scale. For example, I'm going to set mine right now because if you don't do that, then um, you'll get issues with the uh, text and annotation uh, like so. Now at this point, we're ready to insert import CAD. And this is really one of the few situations in which I would actually import a CAD file, otherwise I would link. Now, what I would do is explode it. And as you can see, these items are now accessible to us. We can replace the text. Obviously, these are just uh, simple geometries. We can uh, replace them with leaders. Now, at this point, you may want to go ahead and uh, replace each individual items with your standard corresponding items. For example, I would um, simply select this uh, fill region and uh, replace it with a diagonal hatch, which is in my standards. And you can do the same with lines. You can replace them, for example, with uh, your standard ones. And so goes for the text. You really don't want to have this uh, detail in the way. You want those to match your standards. Now, once you're done replacing all the elements with your standard elements, you're ready to use this detail. So you can head over to your live file and you can insert insert from file, insert views from file. And once you find your project, you can select it. And as you can see, this is the view that we're working on and it's ready for us to insert. And it, it will be insert with the right scale and with the right drafting view name. Now at this point, we're not satisfied, so I'm gonna hit cancel and head back to our detail because we want to make this detail a bit smarter than it is and uh, replace some of the elements with the detail components. Now to do that, I copied some of my detail components and items that I typically use in my details and um, almost like a kit of parts. I like to keep them on the side so I can uh, easily use them and replace them because they're a lot easier to manage if they're detail components, especially if they're parametric. So let's go ahead and replace some of them. Okay, so now all that's left is really take care of the text and the dimensions. So for that, I will just uh, grab this uh, typical text. So I'm going to match properties. Now 
and for that you may want to go ahead and uh, replace these uh, as uh, actual dimensions so let's clean out all these items what I will do first is go ahead and uh, place a dimension I would encourage you to draw the dimension first and then you can uh, do the cleanup later so you don't forget what you're actually dimensioning And also I would encourage you to go ahead and have some kind of standard to align all these elbows and make sure that they're graphically you know tidy and in order. Now we're really ready to bring it into our live file so I'm gonna do the same insert views from file and this time I know I like that detail I'm gonna bring that one in and what's nice is that in the new file you're also getting all these detail components in the textiles and dimension styles so this is your final detail which is a lot smarter than just line work <laughs> 